हेलो टू ऑल माय स्टोरी लवर्स वेलकम बैक इन स्टोरी टाइम चैनल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मेरी क्रिसमस टू ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे स्टोरी नेम इज नील मनी लेट्स गो टू द स्टोरी इन अ फॉरेस्ट देयर वंस लीव अ हर्ड ऑफ डियर दे वेर वेरी हैप्पी देयर फॉर दे हैड प्लेंटी ऑफ ग्रास टू ईट एंड वाटर to drink but as summer approach the lake from which they drank water began to dry up and there was hardly any water left for them what shall we do what will happen to us they asked one another don't worry neelmani their leader said to them he was fearless and very clever he could always solve their difficulties and problems a short distance from here there is a river which has plenty of water and around its bank there is enough grass we will go there we will have plenty to eat and drink he assured So Neelmani led the whole herd to the river side. The river water was sweet. There was abundant grass, all like the new place. But they did not know about the crocodile who live in the river. Whenever the deer went to drink water, it would pull down one or two of them and then eat them up. The rest of the deer become worried and began to cry. The crocodile has taken away our brothers. They said, "One by one we will all be killed. Let us leave this place and go somewhere else. Wait for a few days," Neelmani told them. "I will think of some way out." In the evening, he went alone to the river side and stood under a tree. Suddenly he saw a head coming out of the water it must be the crocodile he thought and stood there fearlessly the crocodile saw him and came closer to the bank stand not so far come closer my dear drink plenty of water have no fear allow me to give you a special tidbit and don't go home without eating it neelmani reply no i am not standing far away but i cannot eat you a tidbit because i am fasting today but tell me who are you i am crocodile answered the crocodile i am the water goddess and i make everyone happy So come to me don't be afraid I have a bad cold said neelmani in reply when i feel better i will come to you but tell me one thing why are your eyes watering continuously i am very kind hearted you see and the sight of all the misery and unhappiness around makes me weep all the time There are so many who are starving, ailing, and miserable for some reason or the other," said the crocodile. "Why, just the other day, a deer got injured by an arrow. Immediately, I took him home and nursed him. He is better now. If you come with me, you will be able to meet him. I will come with you tomorrow," said Nilmani. "Lady." be he continued tell me why are there so many thorns on your body i get goose flesh and my hair rises when i see the hardship and sufferings of the people around me replied the crocodile that's why my body looks so thorny and prickly how did you get such a long neck asked neelmani I pray to God to bless all mankind and every time I pray 
I stretch my neck to look upwards. So my neck has become long, said the crocodile. And what about your teeth, laddie? How did they become so big? Neil Money further asked. I get very angry with cheats and crooks, answered the crocodile. I gnash my teeth in anger every time I think of them. That's why my teeth are so big. Lady, I am really very glad to have met you, said Nilmani. I am going now, but tomorrow we will come in the large numbers to meet you. Go, dear, go, said the crocodile with tear in her eyes. Take care and watch out for those big bad farmers. Do come tomorrow. I will be waiting for you. Neil Money went away and lost in thought wandered around. He saw some cows grazing nearby. He noticed that each had a bell round its neck. Suddenly he had an idea. He went up to one cow and said, Can you please give me the bell around your neck? You will be doing all of us a great favor. The cow gave the bell to Neil Money. Neil Money went back to the forest and looked around for a while. A rabbit lay dead in a corner. An arrow had pierced its stomach and torn its open. Ah, said Neil Money, just what I was looking for. He removed the arrow from the rabbit's stomach, put the bell inside and stitched up the stomach. Then he went home. Early next morning, he went to the riverside, put the rabbit on a stone near the river bank and hide behind a tree. A little later, he saw the crocodile come rapidly towards the bank. She saw the rabbit on the stone. Came nearer, she opened her mouth wide and swallowed the rabbit in one gulp. Along with the rabbit, she swallowed the bell too. Soon the bell began to ring in the crocodile's stomach. Nilmani heard the bell and came out of his hiding. Lady, he asked the crocodile, from where is this ringing sound coming? It's coming from my temple, answered the crocodile. Prayers are being said. Nilmani got very angry at her reply. You weak crocodile, he shouted. What a liar you are. I put that bell in the rabbit's stomach and was hiding behind a tree watching you. Now that bell is in your stomach and every time you move, the bell will ring. So we will all know where you are. You will never be able to catch us hereafter. Ding dong will ring the bell to one and all eat well the crocodile is coming this way make a haste and run away a happy nilmani went back to join his herd there was a great rejoicing in the forest when the other animals heard how their lives had been saved from the wee crocodile they gathered to cheer Neil Money and gave a grand party in his honor. As for the crocodile, she remained hungry from that day onwards, shedding real tears. This is the end of the story. Do you like it? Then comment it and subscribe our channel. Bye bye.